Hey everybody, welcome to the GCA Auto Miner 3.0 instructional and demonstration video. We're going to cover the waypoints you need to set up to operate these drones, show you how to install them into the remote control, and afterwards we'll do a demonstration to show you how your drone should look when it's all set up. For our first waypoint, we're going to create the dock waypoint. To create the dock waypoint, you need to take control of your drone, dock it with your station, and create a new GPS waypoint from your current position while in control of your drone. I'll demonstrate by taking control of Drone Otello. Make sure your connector block is turned on. Access the remote control. Seize control of your drone. Now that your drone is docked with the station, access your GPS. Create a new waypoint from current position. We will call this our dock waypoint. The next waypoint that we'll set will be our pre dock waypoint. After setting your dock waypoint, turn your connector block off, regain control of the drone, and fly forward about 20 meters. Create another waypoint from your current position. This will be our pre dock waypoint. Our next waypoint will be the station arrive waypoint. Just like dock and pre dock, this waypoint is in line with the connector block on your station. After setting your pre dock waypoint, travel another 30 or 40 meters away from your station while keeping alignment with the pre-dock and dock waypoints. Create another waypoint from your current position. Name this waypoint Arrive. Now that we've set our dock, pre-dock, and arrive waypoints, all that's left is to find an asteroid and place a waypoint on it. It's important that you place your waypoint on the face of the asteroid that is most in line or visible from your station. You also want to make sure that you place the mining waypoint about 20 to 25 meters off the surface of the asteroid. There we have our mining waypoint. Now we'll move on to remote control setup. Now that we've set up our four waypoints, we're going to install them into the remote control. Go ahead and access your drone. Access the remote control. And add the waypoints we've just created. Additionally, add a second arrive waypoint. Now the proper structure will be arrive, pre dock, dock, arrive, which is truly a, a depart waypoint, and then mining and the appropriate actions at the arrive waypoint we have a timer block called timer arrive which we will trigger now pre dock has no action the dock waypoint has a timer called timer dock which we will trigger now the second arrive waypoint the depart waypoint has a timer called timer depart which we will trigger now the mining waypoint has a timer block called first entry, which we will trigger now. So here we have our four waypoints with a duplicated arrive waypoint functioning as a depart waypoint. The four actions needed, and we're ready to go. We'll move on to the demonstration. Hey everybody, welcome to the demonstration video for the GCA Auto Miner 3.0. In the instructional video, we covered the waypoints, how to set them, and install them into the remote control. This video is going to show you how the drone looks in action once you've got it set up. If you have any questions or you want to know more about how these work, if you're working on your own drone and you'd like some input, just leave a comment down in the uh, section below. Or you could stop by the stream on twitch.tv slash the glue. I'd be glad to answer any questions there as well. Now, without further ado, here's the demonstration. You guys enjoy. Okay, so we've got our waypoints set up and installed into our remote control. Now we can activate the autopilot on the drone and let it get to work. Once 
Let's be sure that our collision avoidance is turned off. Precision mode is turned on. The flight mode is set to circle. Unless you'd like it to only do one mission and then stop, you can set it to one way. Forward direction set to backward. Reset your waypoint so that we start at the top of our list. And go ahead and activate your autopilot. And these drones will travel backwards when they're navigating with autopilot, but it'll turn itself around at the asteroid we're going to mine. And so the first waypoint that it's going to go to here will be the arrive waypoint, in which point it'll play a sound block. Awesome. Next it'll move to the pre-dock and then the dock waypoints. The waypoints are structured like this to make sure that your drone docks and empties itself before it goes out on a mission. Right, there's the pre-dock waypoint, and now our ship will dock with the station. Now, the undocking and unloading process will normally take closer to three minutes in a survival scenario. We will go ahead and trigger the undock timer to move things along. You can see it's been scheduled to trigger in about three minutes. We'll go ahead and do this now. The drone gets a good amount of clearance from the station before flipping around. And it's going to travel to our arrive waypoint once again, which is functioning as a depart waypoint. And then it will head towards our asteroid. Now the station can't unload your ejectors, and in a creative environment the ejectors can fill up with thousands of stones, so always check your drone, make sure you don't have any lingering stone in your ejectors like I do. In a survival scenario, each ejector can hold maybe uh, 1 or 200 stone, certainly not 129,000 like we just saw. But if you're testing these in a creative environment, <coughs> That's a common area of confusion. Alright, we're at the asteroid. It's flipped on its drone mechanisms. And it's going to get to work. It might be a little slow on the entrance, but that's better than running at the asteroid too hard and breaking the drills off. You'll notice these two thrusters in the rear here that are not on. Those will actually fire every 30 seconds for about 2 seconds. That's to make sure that the drone never comes to a complete standstill. Whatever happens, those will make sure this thing stays in motion. see the stone ejectors getting to work. And we probably should have placed our mining waypoint a little closer to the center of the asteroid, but for a quick demonstration of what this thing does and how it works, this was a better option.
so the drone makes one pass through the asteroid. It'll get a little bit of clearance, and it'll pull a 180. That will make our second entrance into the asteroid. That's a better looking uh, entrance into the asteroid than the first one. This is a rather small asteroid though. These drones are definitely suited for something a little bigger, but use them on everything. The one cool thing about these drones is that you don't have to let it operate on its own. You could definitely take control of it with the remote control and use it as a mining ship all on your own. Okay, our drone is making its second exit. At this point, it's going to get about 50 meters of clearance from any asteroid, and then it will kick on its autopilot and return home. The 50 meters of clearance is there to make sure that you don't accidentally have a collision with the asteroid you're mining um, when you try to go home. There we go. The drone is now autopiloting once again. It'll return home and repeat that docking process that we started with before coming back to make another pass. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, if you want to know more about how these things work, leave a comment down below. Give me a like and stop by the stream sometime on twitch.tv slash theglue and you guys enjoy.